Uh, you can start again. Okay. Uh, so what is auto response role? Uh, auto response role is nothing but whenever we uh, call a customer care or something, we will get a reply like our executive will get back to you in two hours or our team member will uh, reply, uh, will look into your case as soon as possible. Like that, or some automatic reply we will get. This is nothing but an auto response. So how auto response is created in Salesforce? Mainly there are two types of auto response, web to lead auto response and case auto response role. I'll show you how we can create an auto response it, from setup. Take lead auto response for lead object and case for case object. So in lead object, it only work for web to lead auto responses. Okay, so same similar way uh, as assignment rule only one uh, auto response rule can be active at once but we can define a number of criteria here okay. so this is a first section rule details just rule name and uh, the active flag and next section is rule entries so what all things we can define here is uh, similarly uh, sort order is here because we can define a number of criteria so we can define the sort order to which rule should fire first and second section is like the criteria, like on what condition we have to uh, fire auto response. Auto response is nothing but we are acknowledging our customer that we received your case and we are working on that. So I've defined this like if lead country equals India, then uh, that uh, criteria I mentioned here. Similarly, formula uh, through formula also we can define condition and using our or also we can define the condition. And step three is, uh, this is a from name. Whenever we get a name, the, we it should have a from name, right? So that name, we can specify it over here and from email, we can specify here. And step four is like which email template we used to do, um, respond to that mail. So you, with the defined email template, using this defined email template, we will get an email notification, like email auto response. Yes, so this is how we can set up lead auto response and case auto response rule. Similarly, only one auto response rule can be active at once, but we can define a number of criteria similar to lead auto response. Here, role name we can specify and active flag is there and rule entry and similar sort order criteria we can define. And here uh, we can define the from name and from address. And here one more option is like reply to address we can specify. Means uh, whenever we reply to that auto response loop to which email it should go, that we can specify it here. Then uh, the template we can uh, define here which email, using which email template that auto response should fire. And here um, we already studied that we can create cases through email to case. So in that uh, case, whenever we create an email to KB multiples in the your voice is breaking. Yeah. Your voice is not clear. Your voice is breaking. Is it better now? Let me reconnect once. Is it fine? Okay, okay madam. Okay. Um, so, um, where is talk here? Email to case means um, we can create a case through email. In that case, there may be multiple members in the two and CC section. So, do we need to uh, send auto response to all the recipients? Then we can check this checkbox and recipients to all recipient. Then we can also attach some survey if needed. So, I will show you how we can specify it here. So I'm creating a lead from 
web to lead my spelling is mistake ma'am web to web lead web lead sir So what is the condition here in lead auto response if country equals India? Country equals India, then it will send an auto response. I'm submitting this key, this lead. Or I stop sharing things. already created and I got this auto response also. See, this is the auto response. So when I, I when I created lead, I got this auto response like thanks for your inquiry. Thank you for inquiring. But this is a this is based on email template that we are creating. We can create our own email template based on our requirement. Okay. So see the, this also I got whenever I that case in previous example I showed you right that case is assigned to that particular queue. So that time I got an email message like this case is auto assigned to you. Okay. So any doubt on this sort of order response? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I included the definitions and navigation here. Same thing only. It will automatically determine which email template to use when sending order response message to new leads from website. Navigation can be set up lead order response rule and only one rule can be activated. Included all screenshots also. And again, case auto response to is similar. Similarly, automatically determine which email template to use when sending auto response messages for new cases. Only one can be activated time and navigation is set up lead auto response to. Same thing we discussed. So next topic is escalation rule. So escalation rule will be applicable only for case object. Escalation rule means what? Whenever, um, for example, we are assigning a case to a particular person and that person is not responding or that person is not working on that case, we can escalate or we can move that uh, case to another person and we can put a CC to the manager of that person. So uh, this, this we can achieve it using the escalation rules in Salesforce. So, Similarly, go to set up escalation rules. Here I defined already one. So sim similar to the other assignment rules and um, auto response rule, only one rule can be active, but we can define the criteria as many as needed. So first section is rule detail, rule name we can specify and this is the active flag. Next section is rule entries. In rule entry, the first section is like, sort order similar to the other two, sort order we can specify and step two is, the, is where we are defining the criteria. On what basis 
we have to escalate that case. So here I am giving this priority equals high and status equal to new, then that case will be escalated. Okay, based on this step three and step four. So here, uh, so step two is defining the criteria and step three means business hours. So business hours is nothing but the working hours of an organization. We can define the business hours in setup business hours. So here we can give a name and we can select the time zone. And if it's a 24 hour working, we can uh, click here or we can specify the defined time from and to timing uh, and the days over here. So uh, this is nothing but what the business uh, was means uh, the working hours of a company or an organization. So uh, here, if we ignore business hours, what will happen is like irrespective of this business hours. So what happens, we are escalating to a person who is not working at that time. It Again, it will uh, be there without any um, response or with a response. So, uh, if we if we opt this ignore business hours, this is the case. It will escalate the case irrespective of that business hours. And here one option is like uh, use business hours on the case. If uh, there is an option uh, like in case we can define the specific business hours. So if business hour is mentioned in that case, do we need to use that business hours to escalate a case that we can specify here, or we can uh, set a our own business hours using uh, in during this business hour, this case will escalate. We can define it over here. And so step four is uh, when this es escalation rule will trigger, like whether uh, the clock will start uh, ticking from the time of creation of the case, then we can define it like when case is created. Second option is when case is created and disabled after it's first modified. This is nothing but you have created a case and you unattended, uh, means that case is modif not modified. That case is modified, uh, let's say after one hour, then, uh, but we are we have defined that age over. Age over, I will show you. Age over is two hours. Means then uh, don't need to, no need to escalate that case because for example, age over is two hours. So within that age over time, if that case is modified, then no need to escalate that rule. That we uh, that if we want like that, then we can escalate. But if that case is not modified for two hours, then that will escalate to the next person. Third option is based on last modification. Whether the clock need to start from that last time of that case, then we can specify this option. Yeah. Then we are defined edge over and over. So edge over here, I have defined it as two, two, two hours. It means uh, two hours from the date of creation of that case. So it will calculate like that. We can define the minutes also, zero minutes or 30 minutes. And then next section, to whom we in that case, either we can select a user or we can assign it to a particular queue. So notification template also we can select. And what additional, if you want to select any additional user, we can specify additional user or queue, we can define it here. And we can, we have an option to notify the case owner also, like this case is auto assigned to other person that we, like that we can send and notify. If we want to notify the case owner, we can check this. And of uh, uh, apart from this, we can define up to five email address. Like if we want to CC to our ear manager, uh, then we can specify up to five email address over here. Okay, so I'll show you how to create case. The condition here is like priority equal to high and uh, status equal to new and priority should be high. So I'm saving this.
So this will escalate only after two hours. It, if it don't modify or I, I didn't do anything on this, then it will escalate after two hours from the date of clear. So we can, here we can check. See so already one uh, email will uh, trigger after two hours. So after triggering, this entry will remove from this section. So we can monitor that cases escalate not using this case escal under monitoring. This case escalation is there. So same thing I included here. It, uh, escalation rule will automatically determine when cases should escalate and what action to take. After you create a uh, rule, select it from the rule list and add rule entries. Navigation is set up service escalation rule and only one rule can be active at a time and only for case object. This is the screens I included. So any doubt in this? Escalation rule, auto response or assignment rule? No ma'am. Okay, so interview questions when I search, right, it's almost straightforward questions only. What is the same and rule on what objects this um, auto response will work like that? Uh, same, similarly, straightforward questions. So I have included some questions from the admin certification. Uh, so anyone can answer this? I will read it out. Universal containers customers have provided feedback that. Their support cases are not being responded to quickly enough. You see, want to send all unassigned cases that have been opened for more than two hours to an urgent case queue and alert the support manager. Which feature should an administrator configure to meet this requirement? Any escalation, answers? Escalation, escalation, rule. escalation rule. Cloud kit needs to change the owner of a case when it has been opened for more than seven days. How should administrator complete this? Change the owner of a case when it has been open for more than seven days. Where we are defining that? Uh, escalation rules, I think. Escalation yeah. rules. Next is this one. New leads need to be routed to the correct salesperson based on the lead address. How should the administrator configure this requirement? Where we are routing the newly created case? Lead assignment. Administrator cloud kicks need to automatically route support cases regardless of how they are created to a queue based on case priority. Answers. Auto response. Automatically route the support cases. Auto response. Auto response rules. Why oh, yeah, auto response rules? Sir. Just they are asking to assign to the some people. Assignment rules. Assignment rules. Assignment rules. The service manager is a major solar wants to let customers know that they have received their cases via email and their website. Medium priority and high priority cases should receive different email notification than low priority cases. So the administrator has created three email templates for this purpose. How should an administrator configure this requirement? Basically, they want to know their customers that they received their cases. So how we are configuring that? Answers. Include three assignment rules. Why assignment rule? Because we are just notifying that customer that received that, that we are using auto response, right? That automatic reply to notify the customers that we received your cases via email or website. So this is, 
why three auto response rule because only one can be active at a time so it's not three auto response it's create one auto response rule and we can configure three entry criteria and we can also filter the case for case priority and we can uh, also select the appropriate email template for each rule entry okay yeah that's it I I like your presentation, especially the That's interview questions. The the That's That's one. One. That was a nice presentation, man. And interview questions are so good. Thank you, Shiva. Super, man. Thank you, madam. It is a really good presentation, and. Uh, like uh, adding inter questions related to the topic it is really good so same uh, follow sir next one also like whenever uh, madam is adding right same like that you can prepare your own ppt for next people also who are giving assignments upcoming assignments 